Tattoos have been around for millennia. People got them at least 5,000 years ago. Today they're common everywhere. But in the ancient Middle East, the writers of the Hebrew Bible forbade tattooing. Leviticus 19.28, for example, instructs that you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor tattoo any marks on you, I am the Lord. Historically, scholars have often understood this as a warning against pagan practices of mourning. But language scholar John Hugh Agard and ancient Israel expert Harold Leibovitz argue that tattooing was understood differently in ancient times. According to them, Egyptian captives were branded with the name of a god, marking them as belongings of the priests or pharaoh. Hugh Agard and Leibovitz note further that the appearance of the ban on tattoos comes right afterwards clearly related to mourning, perhaps confirming the original theory. And yet, Looking at what's known about death rituals in ancient Mesopotamia, Syria, Israel, and Egypt, they find no references to marking the skin as a sign of mourning. They also note that there are other examples in Leviticus and Exodus where two halves of a verse address different issues. So that could be the case here. What tattoos were apparently often used for in ancient Mesopotamia was marking enslaved people. Egyptian captives were branded with the name of a god, marking them as belongings of the priests or pharaoh. But devotees might also be branded with the name of the god they worshipped. Hugh Agard and Leibovitz suggest that, given the key role of the escape from Egyptian bondage in ancient Jewish law, the Torah originally banned tattooing because it was the symbol of servitude and slavery. Interestingly, though, they write that there is one other apparent reference to tattooing in the Hebrew Bible. Isaiah 44 5 describes the children of Jacob committing themselves to God. Some will say, I belong to the Lord others will call themselves by the name of Jacob, still others will write on their hand, the Lord's, and will take the name Israel. Here a tattoo appears to be allowable as a sign of submission, not to a human master but to God. In sum, by writing God's name on his hand, the Israelite in Isaiah 44 5 was willingly proposing to become a servant of God. At least in this case, it seems that tattooing was acceptable because the person was marking himself as belonging to the God of Israel.